from your breaking news and weather authority. This is 13 Wham News at 6, now in high definition. Get away with that. What do you think of next? I don't know. Was the buzz in Brockport today? The mayor there arrested and charged with official misconduct. Good evening, I'm Adam Chodak. It's not uncommon for folks to talk about their mayor, but it is rare for them to talk about their mayor's arrest. Brockport's mayor, Connie Castaneda, was arrested by her own police department yesterday. She's accused of illegally renting rooms to, in her home to college students. 13 Homes' Chris Conti spoke to people in the village today and joins us now. Chris? Well, Adam, even though she's been charged, the mayor won't lose that title unless she resigns. And board of trustee members told me today they have no idea whether or not that will happen. Still, though, her arrest today has got people talking. Over cups of coffee and cappuccinos, the conversation at Java Junction in Brockport today was purely politics. No one is exempt from the law. I don't care who you are and what you do. Bonnie Kleiman doesn't know Mayor Connie Castaneda personally. So it surprises me. But she does know what her arrest yesterday might mean. So will people re-elect a person who doesn't follow the law? Boy, that ought to be interesting. It's here at her home on Main Street that police alleged the mayor was breaking the law, renting out too many rooms to too many college students, rooms that weren't up to the village's building code. If you get away with that, what do you think of next? I don't know. The 43-year-old and her boyfriend were both arrested and charged Friday. The charges include official misconduct for her and reckless endangerment for him both misdemeanors. And it's not like he's been stealing money. On the scale of political scandals, people here will tell you they think this ranks somewhere near the bottom. I think she was a one-term mayor to start with anyway. But even small scandals can lead to bigger questions. You wonder to yourself, what else has gone on? What's next? Who can you trust? So it's a little alarming. Now, the mayor and her boyfriend are both scheduled to appear back in court on March 26th. The mayor, by the way, has a re-election coming up in June. Chris Conti, 13 Wham News.